So here's the only problem with this otherwise amazing model. It doesn't have any earwax. So let's smear an earwax type gunk in there and see what happens. We're coating the big ear with a layer of sticky yellow stuff, a bit like the wax in your ear. And you'll see how it protects your delicate eardrum and the inner ear behind it. Okay. Ready? Here we go again. Oh, that's amazing. That's great. Look, loads of them have stuck in there. Let's look at that again. But that's what happens every day in your ears. Any unwanted specks of dirt or bugs that get blown near your ears get stuck in your earwax and then moved out of your ear. Which means your eardrum and everything behind it stays safe. The other great thing about your earwax is that the acid in it deters bacteria too, so it keeps infection out. So although it might taste horrible to Zand, it also tastes horrible for bugs. This is a model of an eardrum. So your ear would be there, sound comes in through the ear canal. This is the eardrum. And this represents the ossicles. They are the three bones that lie behind your eardrum called the hammer, the anvil and the stirrup. These help transmit sound into your brain. So now we're going to make some sounds, send them into the ear canal and you will see what happens to the ossicles. And Chris, I've queued up your favourite tune. Ooh. Take it away! <laughs> now the sound waves travel through your ear into the ear canal where they hit the eardrum. This is why it's strong and stretchy to cope with being bombarded with sound all day long. Let's see it in slow motion. Look how the green ossicles bounce about. This is what your eardrum does. It turns sound waves into vibrations to move the ossicles which help you to hear. <laughs> This is the bit of the ear you can see, the outer ear. Sound vibrations come in this way before ending up in the inner ear. Here, they push past little hairs on the cochlea, causing them to move, and this transmits sound information to the brain. The louder the sound, the more the hairs bend. Ouch. 